Hey, uh, I'm going to make a quick video of me changing the tubes in my uh, Mark V. It's one of the original ones that came out, the I guess, the month they were released. I bought it from the Guitar Showcase in San Jose, California. Uh, the amp seems to be making sort of a jingly, chimey, rattly sound when I get to, uh, when I switch to channel 3. So the working theory is one of the tubes that uh, controls channel 3 has gone bad and printed out this sheet from the owner's manual. And so from that we can kind of see that it's probably tubes 4, 5, or 6. So the 12AX7s, but while I've got the thing open I might as well change them all. So. Get to watch me do it step by step. I already disconnected the power and the foot switch. And, uh, well, I'll, next thing I'll do is remove the speaker connection. And since it's a combo amp, I'm going to first start by trying to take you know, these screws off. All right, off. Now one of the things I want to note is it was kind of a little stuck on there, a little tape kind of stuff also held it in, so uh, you can kind of maybe see the tape pieces there and there. So once you get the screws off, you do have to pry it up a little bit, so you know, kind of be gentle with that. The uh, next thing we're going to do is try and take this cover off. You can see one side already had popped out. Let's see how we can do this. Nope, you just push that tab back. And it seems to pop out. There's another one here. And then one last one over here. And voila. And you can see I'm kind of keeping all the parts over here. So looking at this, it looks like we got uh, a bunch of 6L6s over. 6L6s over here. You can kind of see my fingers. And I'm going to start by, I guess, slowly trying to pry these tabs back. Sorry, you can't really see it with my hand in the way. But now I'm going to try and Gently rock it back and forth. Try and get it out. All right, we got one out. I'm gonna keep them in this little protective grill. Sorry for it being as shaky video trying to hold camera and get this done all right I won't subject you to me removing the other four all right I got all the power tubes out the uh, next thing I printed out this page from the owner's manual I'm going to try and remove uh, I guess it's tube v1 which according to the instructions or the manual is the Input stage on all channels. It's kind of right behind uh, this power transformer, so it's going to be kind of interesting to get at it. Um, so we'll see what happens. All right, I want to try and get this cover off. I'm trying to turn it lefty loosey, so I guess. Oh, it's turning. It's turning, 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 turning. Oh, popped right out. There's a spring thing on it. Two notches, and it's 12AX7A. All right, let's see if we pop this up a little bit. We can yeah, you can kind of see the tube way back in there. Right. I don't know if you can kind of see behind the transformer. Or let me see if I can get the camera in a little closer. There we go. 
Why don't you pause that? Before I go too far, what I want, wanted to do was get all the replacement tubes out. I bought these from Humbucker Music. They sell a full set and, you know, they do sell pairs of, you know, fully matched and tested power tubes. So this way for the uh, 6L6s, we can replace them. As you can kind of see from the um, owner's manual, it does say they have to be matched pairs, the interior and the exterior ones. And the 5U46, that is, oh, what is that? That must be, yeah, this rectifier tube. So I'm going to sneak my hand back and try and replace this 12AX7 next. Uh, and that's that tube that's sitting down behind the uh, power transformer. Okay, I got it out. One of the things I want to show you is that it's kind of missing one pin, and so the missing pin would have been on the bottom side. So, need to make sure that that probably matches up. You can't really see the socket. So, kind of just have to be careful, I guess, trying to put it back in. After a lot of trial and error, I seem to have gotten the tube back in. Hey, oh, sorry. The tube is way down in here. You can't even see it underneath the transformer. Try and take a picture so you can see it. It took a lot of trial and error to get it lined up. So I would definitely suggest being very gentle until you feel like the pins have gotten in. And then gently push in and take your time. Not worth breaking a tube or breaking a pin. Cover back on. One thing that I was able to tell from taking the picture, and it's actually kind of helpful that I took pictures. I'm taking pictures along the way. These two notches are vertical. I don't know if you can see the notches here and here. So um, I guess it's gonna be kind of trial and error to get it in. And once again, I'd say take your time, be patient because it's really hard to see the tube. You kind of have to feel for it. And it's on a spring. Yeah. Why don't you stop it? All right, I've now pulled out the next couple of uh, tubes right here and here. You can see them there. I'll uh, replace them and actually, you know, I'm just going to keep going all the way down the line with all the 12 AX7s um, and then we'll get back to replacing the power tubes. Quick note about tube V2. Uh, I don't know if it's quite visible in the video. I'll probably try and take a picture. The one thing to notice is that the missing pin, normally they're towards the bottom, but on this one, the missing pin is on top so you kind of want to be careful when you're um, dealing with this tube this is the v2 tube and you can kind of see it right over there all right all right now we're on tubes four five and six the special thing about tubes four five and six here are they affect channel three and channel three was the whole reason why I had to start this project or do this project to replace the tubes because whenever I would switch to channel three, I would get like this jingly, chimey, almost kind of like a broken filament and a light bulb kind of sound. So hopefully once I replace these three, it will solve the problem. But I figured while I had the thing open, I might as well replace all the tubes since I've had them in here for like over five years. Um, all right, I'm gonna do those three tubes next, four, five, and six. All right, I've replaced all the 12 AX7 tubes, and I'm gonna replace all the power tubes. I'm gonna start first with the uh, rectifier tube here, which is the 5U4G tube. And I'm just gonna keep going down the line. Hopefully once I'm done with all of this, 
the whole amp will be ready to fire back up. Something I probably should point out about the um, these tubes here. Notice how there's this little kind of notch in it. It corresponds to, um, I don't know if you can see the notch over here on the tube. So you got to line those up. Uh, so keep that in mind. You'll see them here even on all the uh, power tubes too. There's a little notch. You got to line them up. Now, before I put in the uh, 6L6s, I do want to remind you that they're matched pairs. So the outers and the inners. So you need sets of matched pair tubes. And I'm going to put them back in as matched sets. We got all four back in. And in full disclosure, this fourth one over here, really kind of a pain to try and get it back in. Notice how it's not sitting in as snugly as the other ones. Uh, try, but I don't want to press too hard in fear of breaking them. But uh, I'm going to fire this thing up before I finish closing it up just to make sure it works. And if it doesn't, that's probably going to be our culprit. 